So I've been asked the question, how does the spark chamber work, or the spark plasma chamber, or whatever you want to call it, and how does a digital spark operate with these devices? So I've drawn some information here on the board, and I want to show you first how the analog spark chamber operates and what's important about it with the devices, and then I'll show you a digital uh, operation of the spark generation. So here we go, I'll come up closer to the uh, board here. So what we have that's very important to the power generation and how the devices work is we have a capacitor. A capacitor is where the power builds up into the machine to get the strength that is needed to approach whatever it is you're dealing with uh, in using the machine. So the capacitor is there, then we have a spark chamber, then we have the coil that is uh, part of the whole process. So what happens is the power is coming into the machine. It's coming in here, and then this capacitor, much like a well or a, a barrel that you would fill, begins to fill up. And when it hits a particular power level, that is regulated by the spark chamber. So the way the spark chamber works is you have two electrodes in this spark chamber. If they are very, if they are farther apart, the spark that is generated will be stronger. If they're very close together, the spark that is generated will be smaller and not quite so powerful. So what happens is we've got, and I'm going to show you here with the, with the electrodes separated, the power begins to build up until it hits a level that as it's going in here will cause a spark to jump between those two electrodes. So here we go. The power is building up. The electrodes are farther apart. All of a sudden we get here and there's a, there's a bolt of spark that occurs between these two electrodes. When that occurs, then the, pow the power that's generated comes out of the coil or of the cord, goes into the coil, and when in place we have a circle, we'll get a signal. So there's how the signal is generated. When we have this circle, you create a magnetic field. So it's generated, comes out of the capacitor, into the spark chamber when the power level which is dictated by the electrodes is reached then it will fire and it will come around and power the coil. If these coils, if these two things are very close together then this spark that is generated is very small and less power is generated through to the coil. So the magnetic, magnetic field that's generated is not quite as strong. So again, that's how it works. Capacitor, spark chamber, coil. Now, on the digital device, we're going to change this here. It's no longer a spark chamber. It is a computer chip or a, whatever you want to call it. And let's do it this way. Let's suppose we've got one, two, three, four, five. If you set your machine on a two, let's just say you're right here, as this power begins to build up, this opening is available. So when it hits enough power to go through this opening, then it'll come out, it'll charge, it'll send the signal around to the coil. If your opening is down here, and this opening is closed on your digital machine, this is a very basic explanation, then it takes more power from your capacitor to fire, to fire from the five setting and send a stronger signal to the coil. So that's basically how it works. One is is physical in that you have a spark chamber with electrodes that the space of the electrodes determines how much power is released on the digital system you have a little computer chip with various openings and you open this opening and when it's got enough power to fire, fire through those then it'll release the power and it'll go into the coil so i hope that explains the difference between the digital and the analog power sources for the devices and it also shows you the importance of the spark chamber when you're dealing with an analog device. So I hope this answers your question. And if you have other questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them at any time. Pat Zemer, wave on with MagnaWave and have a great day. Thank you.